Hello, I'm David Worrell, and I'd like to share a quote with you from Michael Phelps. The problem with heart disease is that oftentimes the first symptom is fatal. Unfortunately, many of us have known someone who has suffered from heart disease, and we know how fast it creeps upon us. I personally have had multiple experiences and have encountered heart disease on numerous occasions. This is why I have decided to do extensive research on the matter of heart disease. In this speech, I will explain what heart disease is, the symptoms and risk factors of heart disease, and how to live and prevent heart disease as well. What is heart disease? According to the Mayo Clinic, heart disease is described as a range of conditions that affect the heart. Under the category of heart disease are coronary artery disease, arrhythmia, which is a heart rhythm issue, heart defects from birth, among others. According to the Mayo Clinic, heart disease is used interchangeably with cardiovascular disease. Cardiovascular disease is where it gets a narrow or blocked blood vessel that leads to heart attack or stroke. Heart disease is the number one cause of death in the United States, according to the American Heart Association. The main contributor is the lack of commitment to a heart-healthy lifestyle. Now that we have discussed what heart disease is, let's move on to talk about the symptoms and risk factors of heart disease. The symptoms and risk factors of heart disease are severely ignored. Symptoms of heart disease may be different from men and women. According to the Mayo Clinic, men are more likely to have chest pain, whereas women are more likely to have chest discomfort, shortness of breath, nausea, and fatigue. When you have multiple symptoms at once, it is important to call 911 or immediately get to a hospital. Chest pain, chest pressure, tightness, or discomfort are some of the many symptoms of heart disease. Others include shortness of breath, dizziness, a fluttering feeling in the chest, pain, numbness, swelling, or weakness in the legs or arms. The blood vessels in those part of the body are narrowed. Pain in the neck, jaw, throat, upper stomach, back, or left shoulder. According to the CDC, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and smoking are the key risk factors to heart disease. The CDC also states that 47% of Americans have at least one of these factors that are listed above. There are other risk factors that can lead to heart disease as well, including diabetes, obesity, unhealthy diet, physical inactivity, and excessive alcohol use. Now that we have discussed the symptoms and risk factors of heart disease, let's move on to how to live and prevent heart disease. Lifestyle changes are a must to prevent lifestyle changes and live with heart disease. You have to lower your cholesterol. Cholesterol is the root of all problems in plaque buildup. High blood, high blood cholesterol is where you get fat buildup in the arteries, which sooner or later will result in heart attack or stroke. To lower your cholesterol, you need to eat a heart healthy diet. If that does not work or does not help your levels, you will have to be prescribed cholesterol medication. It is crucial to lower your blood pressure as well. Blood pressure is the leading cause of stroke, according to the American Heart Association. Stroke recovery is extremely difficult and it could possibly end up making you disabled for life. Watching your salt intake every day is also very important. You should also stay below 2,300 milligrams per day. An optimal blood pressure reading is also less than 120 over 80. Anything over that is considered high blood pressure or risk of high blood pressure. Being physically physical each and every day can help your body significantly reduce your heart complications. According to the American Heart Association, research has shown that 150 minutes of exercise per week can help lower your blood, uh, your high blood pressure, cholesterol, and keep your weight at a healthy level. The longer and more vigorous your workouts are, obviously you will reap more benefits. It does not need to be vis vigorous uh, exercise though. Even walking the dog, taking the stairs, they all count towards your 150 minutes per week. Aim for a healthy weight and try to maintain it as best you can. Obesity is one of the highest problems in America and is your greatest enemy with heart disease. A healthy diet can help protect your heart, improve your blood pressure and cholesterol, and, produce, and reduce your risk of type 2 diabetes. Heart healthy eating includes vegetables, fruits, beans, legumes, lean meats, and fish, 
low fat or fat free dairy products, whole grains, and healthy fats such as sunflower oil and olive oil. Quitting smoking is the hardest yet easiest way to recover from heart disease. Smoke reduces the oxygen in your blood, which increases your blood pressure and heart rate. Your risk of heart disease stops immediately after you finish that last cigarette. If you do not smoke, you need to avoid secondhand smoke at all costs. Finally, you need to limit your amount of alcohol you consume. Drinking too much can raise your blood pressure and increase the chance of stroke, cancer, high triglycerides, and produce irregular heartbeats. If you drink, limit your alcohol consumption to no more than two drinks per day for a man and one drink per day per woman. In conclusion, I have explained the severity of heart disease and the precautions we need to take to enable and to live a long and healthy life. I chose to inform you on heart disease because of how close to home it hits for me. Hopefully, I've educated you on the symptoms and risk factors so that you can prevent yourself, family, and friends from getting heart disease. In the words of Hippocrates, let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food.